vows that they take as part of the Evangelical Presbyterian Church, that's our denomination, right? They uh, prescribe some vows that you take when you join membership. And these are really good vows for us to think about as well. They really focus in on what's important to us as a church, and maybe for those of you who've been members a long time, you can kind of recommit yourself to these vows as you listen to them. So I'm going to read the vows. You respond by saying, I do. Don't worry, you're not getting married, Doug. Uh, but you can say, I do. Um, and uh, then you'll, we'll, we'll pray over your membership, all right? So, do you believe in one God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit? Do you believe in the Lord Jesus Christ, the Son of God, and do you depend on Him alone for your salvation? Do you promise to serve Christ in His church to the best of your ability by supporting and participating with this congregation in its service of God and its ministry to others? Do you promise to support the government, the unity, the purity, and the peace of the church? That's a good way to do it, Doug. You don't even have to say, I do. Inasmuch as you have professed faith in Jesus Christ, have been baptized into his body, and have been welcomed by our church session for active membership, I declare you entitled to all the privileges of this congregation and of the full fellowship of the church, as well as having all the duties and responsibilities incumbent upon those who profess Christ and seek to worship God by service to him and ministry to others. Will you join me in welcoming these folks into our membership? Pastor Jason is going to offer a prayer as we... So let's pray. Gracious God and Heavenly Father, by your grace alone, you make us members of the body of Christ. And we just want to confess to you and to each other that that is all of grace. It's not anything that we deserve, nothing that we have earned, but you have brought us into your family. In our normal, natural state, our normal condition, we are enemies. We are at odds with you and each other. But Lord, in the person and work of Jesus Christ, in his sacrifice on the cross, in his resurrection, in his ascension and his continued work for us, we are brought together. The dividing wall of hostility is broken down. And now people who are at odds with each other are family. And so Lord, we do nothing special today. We simply acknowledge the supernatural miracle that you have made us family together. So Lord, we praise you for the Davises, for the Trelutskis, for bringing them into your family, the church, and for bringing them to this community, to this body. They have blessed us already immensely. And we pray that as we, just like any family, fight and forgive, as we argue and reconcile as we serve each other and work through our issues together. I pray that these families would bless us and bring us the glory and the grace of Jesus Christ that we need and that also, Lord, we might return the same to them, that they might be equipped and blessed and encouraged to fight the good fight of faith and to persevere all the way to the end. We pray for Doug and Claire, and I pray your special blessing and grace on them, for their leaders in the children's ministry, middle school, high school. I pray that they would continue in faith with you all the way through college and the challenges of early adulthood, and that they too would be persistent and faithful members of our church for many, many years to come. And so, Lord, we praise you and we thank you for this supernatural miracle of bringing us into your family. And we give you all glory. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Amen. <clears throat>